flying low. That's how helicopter crews survive in the open spaces of eastern Ukraine. They approach targets at high speed, ascend to get an angle, fire, and get out. In a field somewhere in the east, we meet the crew. Their MI-8 has been flying since the 80s. Pilot Ivan tells me it was not really built for fighting. We're lucky that this helicopter is multifunctional and that we can use it in combat mode. It was designed to primarily transport troops, cargo and wounded soldiers. Now it can attack enemy positions. They've welded rocket launchers onto the sides. This is a block of unguided air missiles. You can look right down into them. This is a caliber C-13. And missiles like these are used to hit ground targets. You cannot expect an accurate hit from them. The main damage comes from debris when it flies. Ivan has flown 100 combat sorties, which he says is not very many. But he knows what he's risking each time he takes to the sky. Ukraine's army says this is them shooting down a Russian helicopter. Ivan could suffer a similar fate in his Mi-8. It only has armored plates around the cockpit. Everything else is exposed, even the fuel tank. The danger is ever-present. We have to get used to it, no matter how scary it sounds. During my first deployments, sure, there was anxiety, there was fear. But with each time we took off, I became more confident. The Army and Air Force have lost valuable aircraft, they're hoping to get F-16 fighter jets promised by Western allies. To successfully achieve what our country expects of us, it's necessary to use all the possible tools available. That's why they're talking about these planes, so that Ukraine can finally gain air superiority. At the moment, the fact remains that the enemy has more serious forces in the air. What they lack in equipment and technology Ukrainian pilots have to make up with skill, tactics, and bravery. <laughs>